Hello, welcome to the second part of Web Console presentation. In this part, I will explain how to download, install, and run Web Console. So, first, we go to the download section of Web Console website. So, here I see a current beta version of Web Console. If I click it, it will forward me to the SourceForge website. And uh, here I can just save a web console installation to the disk. I click OK. And so here now I have a web console on my computer. OK, so I successfully downloaded a web console on my, uh, on my desktop computer. And now I'm going to unzip this file. So here I have um, uh, my web console. So now I need FTP client to upload it to my web server. So now I am ready to upload web console to my web server. So I uh, essentially I, I just need to upload a wc.pl file. So here I successfully uploaded this file and uh, it's important to set permission. I click properties and I set uh, permission to 755 for this file. Click OK. And so now I am ready to install web console. OK, so right now I am in web console directory on my web server and I click uh, wc.pl file. And here I am uh, in the installation screen of Web Console. So here I need to put admin login, like admin. So put password. Uh, so confirm, um, confirm password. Here put my email address. And here confirm my email address. Okay, so here if your default language is English, you don't have to specify encodings. It's only, you know, if, uh, if you want to run web console in, in the language uh, other than English. So here you click install. And here web console inform us that it is successfully installed. And now uh, I can, actually, it is that easy. Right now I can just click log on and start to use it. OK, let me type in my password and log in into Web Console. So here uh, we arrive to the Web Console page. Uh, this is command prompt from our server. And here we can run any command like uh, ls, list of the current directory, or cd uh, change directory one level up or, or internal web console commands. Uh, to see the list of all internal web console commands use a pound sign. Um, let's use a, a file manager for example. So I type pound manager and uh, so here you can see uh, current structure of the web directory by clicking on the folders you can go in and up from this folder you can also um, download and upload files um, to the server from your local machine that's just uh, main features of web console and uh, if you go and work with it yourself you will find uh, uh, many more features and um, if you have any questions please go to web-console.org read uh, FAQ page and uh, post your comments to the forum 
Uh, thank you very much for listening to this presentation and uh, I hope you will enjoy uh, web console.